Hello students, welcome to Being Passionate Learner. This video is about depth limited search algorithm in artificial intelligence. In this video, I am going to introduce depth limited search, how it works, one example of depth limited search and some applications of depth limited search. Depth limited search is an uninformed search algorithm. It is used to explore search space up to a certain depth. It is a depth for search with predetermined depth limit L. Means nodes at depth L are treated as if they have no successors. This approach is called depth limited search. It solves infinite path problem of depth for search but it also introduces an additional source of incompleteness. If we choose L less than D, that is the shallowest goal is beyond the depth limit, this is the case when D is unknown. Depth limited search will also be non-optimal if we choose L greater than D. Its time complexity is order of B raised to L and its space complexity is order of B into L. Depth first search can be viewed as a special case of depth limited search with L is equals to infinity. Let us now try to understand how it works with one example. The depth limited search algorithm starts from the initial state and explores the search space to a specified depth level. In short, it works same as depth first search. If you don't know how depth first search works, then watch video on depth first search. Its link is given in the description. Basic difference between DFS and depth limited search is that DFS don't have depth limit L for searching, whereas depth limited search has a depth limit L. Because of which depth limited search searches only up to the depth limit L. Successors of nodes at depth L are never visited in depth limited search. Let us see one example of depth limited search. Consider a binary tree shown on a slide represent a search space of a problem. A is initial state and G is a goal state. Consider depth limit L is equals to 2. Depth limited search will start searching from initial state A. A has two child nodes node B and node C. B will be explored next. B has two child nodes, node D and node E. Then D will be explored next. D has two child nodes, node H and I. As D is at level 2, which is a depth limit, D is considered as a leaf node and its child nodes will not be explored. After D, node E will be explored. It is also at level 2, so it will be considered as a leaf node or consider that E do not have any successors. And therefore, its child nodes J and K will not be explored. Now C will be explored next. It has two child nodes F and G. Node F will be explored next. Node F is at level 2, so it is considered as a leaf node and its child nodes L and M will not be explored. Now G will be explored. As G is a goal state, algorithm will stop searching here. In this example, goal state is at level 2, which is in the depth limit. And therefore, algorithm reached to goal state G successfully. If we consider same search space and depth limit 2, A is initial state, but now we will consider H as a goal state. In this case, the depth limited search algorithm will not reach to goal state H because H is at level 3 and depth limit is set to level 2. So, depth limited search won't be able to reach to the goal state. Now let us see some applications of depth limited search. First application is robot navigation. 
The depth limited search algorithm is used in robotic navigation systems to find optimal paths while considering the computational limitations. Second application is in game playing. In game playing artificial intelligence, the depth limited search algorithm is used to explore potential moves within a limited search depth. Third application is problem solving. The algorithm is employed in various problem solving domains such as puzzles and planning to find solutions efficiently. With this we reach to end of this video. Thank you for watching this video till end. See you in my next video. Till then being passionate learner keep learning. Thank you.